this band was like, all of us were all pent up because none of us were playing music. And uh, so we got together and started writing songs. It was fun for a while. And then we just kind of sat down and realized that like, well, this is our release. Like we go to our jobs and our jobs are whatever. It's nine to five or whatever. It's a way to live. It's a way to get by. It's a way to pay our bills. But we're like, you know, man, we're good enough that we could actually give this a shot one more time. And in the back of my mind, I can't commit to anything because I know I really want to do this. And it's kind of growing up and stuff. And at the end of the day, this is what you want to do. So actually take the steps to do it. So now we've been actually trying and making sacrifices. And then plus, you could drink beer while you're here, so. Okay, my name is uh, Bill Gates. My name is Mike. And I just want to get real in the confession booth at the studio. And I just want to tell you that I know it seems like we're just a group of normal dudes, but the Illuminati is making us do everything. And if you're watching this right now, it means I'm dead. And just uh, feed my pet turtle. I don't have a pet turtle, but get me a pet turtle and feed it. And it's mine. I saw a mannequin hand once. I got caught. <laughs> Right at the time that movie, scary movie too, can it? Was it the second one yeah. that had the guy with the weird hand? <laughs> the strong hand? Yeah, the strong hand guy. Strong hand. Well, whatever. We saw him on the ground. We're like, dude, this is perfect. He's like fall or something, man. We're all wearing coats. I'm like, dude, take my strong hand. So we fucking, we took it. We took the mag hand. Dude, I'm skating right outside the call on the, on the like sidewalk, like going around the plaza. A dude comes out of a door, like a Scooby Doo hidden door in the wall, comes out, grabs me. <laughs> And goes inside the door. My friends had no idea what happened to me. So my mom comes to pick me up because obviously we didn't drive back then, you know. So she comes and gets me, and she walks. She says that she walks into the back door, like I guess the security room, and all of a sudden she sees me at one end of this long table and the security guard at the other end, and then the hand just in the middle, and she starts dying laughing. <laughs> The Moser started when um, my last band broke up and uh, just kind of needed someone to jam with and Dave kind of abducted me and it was just fun at first and then we needed a name and then uh, I was in the middle of catching up on Dexter, just binging Dexter and I found out his biological last name is Moser so I was like why not be the Mosers because Dexter was cool but we didn't see the last episode yet so that's why we agreed on it. What the fuck are you saying? I'm expressing my creative love. <laughs> I like that actually. Yeah. It sounded like, like, uh, like meatloaf. Oh, yeah, man. What well, have I got to know right now? What do you love, man? It's home now while I'm praying for the end of time. So the intro is D. We definitely have different musical styles, that's for sure. I mean, you ever find yourself just listening to, the, like, driving in a car and turning on a station and you're like, it's fucking awesome. You listen to it for 20 seconds and it's like a religious rock song. I think finally we're in a place where we can come and write songs we all really, really like and we know we can write better. This is the new song. No paper toiletries in Vermont. No paper. 
paper toiletries in Vermont. There's no paper toiletries in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been in so many bands that we know kind of like how to act and how to be and how to be a bandmate. And it's just really easy going. The way we get along is uh, unlike any other band I've ever been in. And I ain't, a fake, I ain't fake it for nobody. Don't look at the camera. You're already too into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. I ain't faking for nobody. That's right. <laughs> and then I hop the fence and I'm like walking like with a strut and stuff. And I hear like, all right, all right. Please don't break it. I'm like, I'm not breaking. Dude, I'm like, I'm like, this is how it reclined. Would you favor the right? <laughs> 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 Would you favor the right? <laughs> I'm sitting in a dead center. <laughs> you no, you were not. <laughs> this was how it was. You're getting a bit heavy, you know, in your late days. <laughs> I like pretzels straight to the belly. What's yeah, it does. Like tar for the <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah, now it's got the red light. Yeah, there you go. Look, look, look. Tell the people, let me hold, oh, here, I can just hold it like this. Oh, this is the zoom, too, right? What? Yeah, this yeah, button yeah. right here? Yeah. But it's not zooming out anymore. This is as far as it can go. So I can go like this. Oh, there's the zoom. All right. No, I never hit record. <laughs> so all that awesome song. jamming you were doing, I, I blew it. We're in a place now where we've been doing this so long. Like, a lot of friends of ours have been very fortunate enough to go on and do this as careers. So, you know, to me, that's motivation because, you know, if they can do it, there's no reason why we can't. So we just got to be a little smarter about how we approach the writing process. Yeah, I'll do another one. But, but who are you? I'll do a better take of what I just did, so you guys got it better. Yeah, it's got to be a little lower, right? You, no, I don't think it needs to be lower. You're like, but who are you really? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Do that. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Just, just to make them all different. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I meant to go, you know, you ain't fool. Yeah. Just punch the last line, that's cool. I've tried to not play before in, in music groups and try to just focus and not for any other reason besides being like disheartened. I guess the purpose of this band is to, I mean, I'll be honest, like make it eventually our profession. You know, I've bounced around from job to job since I graduated college. I worked at a law firm, I bartended. Um, I sold insulation. I worked at a guitar center, which was, oh my god. I sold software. I currently, you know, supervise a warehouse for a female clothing company. Just bouncing around stuff because in the back of my mind, I can't commit to anything because I know I really want to do this. At the end of the day, it's, this is what you want to do, so actually take the steps to do it. Here in the Mosers, we have like a certain core of morals and values, and uh, we 
live by the code of the airplane bottle, and then class it up with some PBR. A couple drags of this, and you're ready to sparkle your vocal cords all over the studio. <laughs>